This thing is so cool. <laughs> okay, now, the reason why I had you bring this is because the supplies. This applies to drumming. How does this apply to drumming? It's the wrist and stuff, but uh, yes, that is, that is definitely a thing, so, especially since we're not going to do this. We're not going to French grip it. We're going to turn at this angle and German grip it. So yes, there is that. But what I also want to introduce to you is uh, being consistent with this thing and thinking about the amount of rotations until it hits that thing and actually being scientific about it. So, at home, what I want you to do is I like get a measuring tape or, or just some, or rocks or something, some place where it, it, you can mark where to stand. And then, let's, th let's think about this. If I, I'm gonna visualize this thing going one and two, and then I'm gonna actually try to get it in straight like that. And so that would be the ideal, the, the ideal uh, position going in, given that if the handle goes in, then, then that's lame, it doesn't always stick. So, all right. Now, I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit and do the same exact thing. Okay, I got the handle that time. I'm gonna go slightly back. There we go. Now, it didn't quite go over, so I'm gonna go back slightly, a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Did you see how I, I like figured out how to get it right on the money? That thing is, that handle is perfectly square with that board, nice. So, I know, we'll just use that dirt mound for now. Stand on that dirt mound and give, give a throw and think about at each throw you do, is going to be the same exact throw each time to be as consistent as possible. And then, based on the results, we'll scoop back or scoop forward. Same throw. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, d just do one more. We'll do a control. Okay, now, notice that you threw that from the exact same spot and the axes look exactly the same on the board. So that's good, that, you have, that you're showing consistency in the throw. So now, gather those up, I'll mark your spot. So, given the placement, given that the handle was up, do you want to go closer or more farther away? Which would make more sense? If the handle was up, so you only need a quarter turn this way, but then a three quarters turn this way. So, let's scoot up a bit. Stand right there, right in front of that, see what happens. Oh, money, money, more. <laughs> oh, look at that. Robin Hood arrow through the other arrows that happen to be in the bullseye. Oh, big surprise. See, how, see, how, see what we're doing here? We're getting scientific. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get science, we're, and what we do in there is scientific. Progress. So this is a really great analogy for, it's just an, an, another, another cool activity that you can do that is, that is somewhat of a drummer's motion. So, hey, we got a double whammy there. But more importantly, it's an exercise of consistency and approaching things scientifically. Okay, so it didn't slightly go up high enough, so I'm going to scoot back three inches money. Oh, I overcompensated. It went, it went over. So, how about right there? Oh, I don't think that was the right throw. I don't think I was consistent with my throw. All right, step up. Four bullseyes right in a row. Okay, now adjust your position. If that wanted to go further, then it needs more time to spin, so back up. Okay, all right, yes. Yeah, good, good. He went a little too far, but then he backed up. Good. <laughs> I 
I gotta remember my backdrop. <laughs> okay, slightly forward. This thing is cool. Ooh, I know. Let's think about what one spin would look like. Ooh, I know. We'll just go right up on it. And so, bam, straight in. So this is like, basically from here, it's a, it's a, it's a 180. Okay. Try that. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good monastic drill. Do a half turn and try to be as consistent as possible. Gosh, I want to do it. it went too far. Go, closer. go slightly closer. There you go. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. Consistency. So this is what I'm talking about. Consistency. Good. All right. So now, if this means half turn, then okay. Uh, I'll go in thirds. One, two, three. Then maybe this is a full turn. Okay, well, actually, we'll just say, okay, so the release is essentially the position we want it to be in. So for consistency, we'll just use that. So this is a non-turn. This is a, there's no turn there. And now just, I want to flip it once. Okay, it went three quarters turn, so right, not enough. Is this going, is this spinning once or twice? I think it's spinning twice. Okay, I've gone too far. So, okay, I want it to spin once from here. Okay, f figure this out. How do you spin once? And at what distance is that? I'll stand back. Oh, it's bounced off the hook. Yep. But that's right. Okay, that was too far. So, scoot forward slightly. Yeah, let's throw one right there and see what happens. Uh, throw it in slow motion so I can like see the rotation. Like just throw it slowly. Okay, back up slightly. All right, do that one. Yeah, that's one turn. So, uh, what's 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 cool in the drum in the drum core world? A drum core consists of drums, horns, and color guard, the ones who flip all those cool things around, like sabers, rifles, and and flags. The the uh, the the explicit visual elements of the show. And the, like the people who have the sabers, especially, and, and the rifles, they do these crazy throws, like wham! And they'll time it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam! And they'll catch it right on the money. And, and they'll do that in unison with like 20 other people, which is like crazy impressive, which, which is yet another example of ultra, ultra crazy consistency. Consistency is the name of the game here. So find a spot, one turn, square in, a full 360. Do it again from the same spot, see if you get the same result. Yes, you do. Okay, now back up slightly to try to curl it around to be the full 360. Almost, back up slightly. Back up to the, uh, back up to that mound right there, and and this time just throw all four, and ooh I know like more this? more importantly more importantly than the number of turns like that's a totally a cool thing you can like think about like one turn, back up two turns three turns eight turns whoo, from across you know from across the yard, um, I mean you could like film that in slow motion to like count you could get really you could geek out with it for sure, but this time. Just throw all four at the same spot, but try to have them land consistently in the same spot, like the same position each time. That's 
an exercise of consistency. Okay, so you can do the same exact row, almost. That one was consistent with the other. Okay, so interesting, this first one, you did something different. So that is an inconsistent round. Think about, just think about how you can replicate this. Like your body, where it is, is it leaning back, is it leaning forward? It, are, how much whip you're doing. Okay, do it again. Close. This thing is, this thing is cool. I, I, on the, in the video you said I didn't, I didn't know what the, the what, it was? Yeah. what the function was. So I'm gonna go nuts, stand back here. <laughs> See, that's why I got the, that's why I put the tree there, or this in front of the tree. <laughs> you know what that's called? That's called, uh, where did that axe go? It's called watching your backstop. Like when the cops are out there shooting guns at bad guys, they have to think like, oh wait, there's a school bus behind him. I, I got it, you know, I can't, it's a bad backstop. Oh man. Okay, consistency. Ooh, on the money. Go for it. And so, the consistently off the board. So that's somewhat consistent, ironically. So, do I know? Do all eight and see if you can get eight in the same spot from a moderate distance. I can barely hold it. And Ooh, I have an idea. I want to try something. Here's 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 another boyish idea to add. Oh, this has never been done before. <laughs> I've only done four at the same time. How could none of them have stuck? Maybe I just maybe that I just they all had the per, the like they all had that perfect spin to where it hit the hit the uh, hit the handle. Yes, that's satisfying. I've done four before, but never, never eight. Never all eight. All right. Try all eight since we're just, I, I don't since we're having fun messing around. Do just do it. Two hands, make it happen. Okay. It's kind of. Yeah, it's a little nuts. I can, I can hold seven. Well. Try it. I, I, I bet you could, do, I bet you can do it. All right. All right. I'll take that. Oh, that's pretty wild. <laughs> okay. okay, four and four. Ooh, this is this is uh, this is a good uh, ambidexterity thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's get another place in drums. I wanted to see what this was all about, and and. Is this like your jam? Is do, you, do you, is this fun to play with? You, is this a yeah. is this a thing you go out and do Not with your? Not often, but like every uh, now and then. All right, Saturday, you and your friend, burn up, burn up, and this too. Let's do one more round. As consistent as possible. It's the same throw each time, oh, one at a time. And you can do it with your left hand too. That's another. That's another exercise. You're throwing them at the same speed, so that's good. Try this one slower. Yeah. And slower, of course, is going to be more controlled.
<laughs> All right, we're not leaving until until there's one bullseye. Got We got to leave on a three pointer, right? Oh, okay. I was using a basketball three. metaphor, sure. So, yeah, white is three. All right, from our from our dirt mound. Four. And not hitting it is zero. Ooh, I'll take that as a bullseye. Get one of those. Get one of those edges in the red. Yeah. Money. All right, cool. Let's go do some drumming. Perfect. Are we done with this? Can yes, yes, that's that can go. Axe throwing. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to get my lights. that too much. Okay, I have a more spread out this time because I built this new shelf, which is going to be way more convenient, and it's on wheels, and I get to store my amp and my battery source in the back, so I get to take this with me to get, when I go do uh, roving, roving get gigs. You know what roving means? No. It means wandering, essentially. Like a roving substitute teacher is a substitute teacher who just like goes all schools and just goes where they are, goes where they're needed. Someone who's roving. All right. No. I don't like a lot of negative space in my my frame. So I have a list. Ah. Well, uh, we'll talk about this at the end. But here's my reminder. Okay, your little stack. Oh, here's your key, by the way. Oh, yeah, I also share. Um, so I have multiple. Good throw, good catch. Every good throw, uh, every good catch has a good throw, and every good throw has a good catch. Hopefully. That would be super sad if it was a perfect throw, but. Still fumbled. Okay. Oh. oh, you're in for it this week. Oh, yeah. Okay. That clock is wrong. Is it almost six? It's 5.55. Okay. All right, my clock's an hour off. All right. This thing is super cool. It's a kalimba. And I plug it into my amplifier, and I put it through. And I put the de delay pedal on it. Remember this thing when we had the, mm -hmm. the delay pedal stuff? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that at the end. Side swipers. 
Okay. Let's do that math again. Two times two. Four. Two times four. Eight. Keep going. Sixteen. Correct. <laughs> yep. And one more. Bingo. Good. So, and then one more is, or actually uh, one more, you know, 1 plus 512 is 513. 513. 500 side swipers every day. I have invented, as per usual, a, a brand new technique which is killer, if I do say so myself. It'll be like the first thing I'm gonna be teaching a drum line in, in Guadalupe. Not looking forward to the drive, but uh, it'll be cool. And, and the, the, you know, these kids have never done music in their life, so it'll just be from square one. And so day one, square one, I'm gonna teach them this. Mm. It's ones that are clean without any scratches. Here we go. Okay, these are side swipers. Hold it here at the tip. And okay, I'll, I'll break it down from, from where this came from. So this, the almighty thing, which you know you should be doing in your sleep. And notice you can't do French grip. And if you do your weird turny thing that you like to do, you know, it just doesn't work. So this is, you know, the proper grip, this German slash American grip. French, German, American. There's a bit, there's a hybrid. There's, there's, it's not a strict flat German. But at the end of the day, it's just two camps, essentially. German, French, German, French, German, French. Okay, so now we have this trick. And notice that when I, I go down, I have two options to make it go down. I can turn at the wrist, or I can drop with the fingers. Now, what I want my you know, day one rookies to develop first is their wrist movement, not the fingers thing. Uh, I was watching one of our lessons last night and was re, you know studying the tape. I was like, I, yeah, I'm throwing too much at him. Uh, fundamentals, fundamentals first. Okay. And, and I have a way, I have a super hip drum beat that's super straightforward that involves the open hi-hat. So there's a little bit of a challenge right there at the end, but it's super straightforward. And if someone hears you playing it, they're gonna be like, yeah, that guy is jamming. Okay, so we have this, right? And now, if I really wanted to like exaggerate my German, I could do this. I could hit off to the side. And I develop this thing to, uh, you know, where the, where the, arm, the arm things to do this. To have something to hit as opposed to just hitting out up into space. But up into space is where we're going with these side swipers. At the tip, you can just do it along with me. And do a few of these, bring it up into your arm. And now, turn, so we're in French grip position, but we're going to do German grips we're going to do a drum grip, but it's going from the side. 
So, but we have it up here, and so we're gonna go from the side here, but instead of hitting our arm, we're gonna go a little bit lower, just like we were doing here, a little bit too far. Look at that crazy German grip, like that's, that's really turned over. And if I flip that this way, and then if I actually put it in my hand, that's extreme German. So now, and better to go too far German in the beginning and just ease off of it later. So where we're going with that, you've, 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 you've got an idea as to what we're doing here. We're going to swipe the, the, the underside of our arm. Hear that sound? Yeah. I don't want you to hit your arm. I want you to swipe it. I want you to graze it. The original name was Arm Grazers, but then I went over to my friend's house. He's a good drummer, and he's my consultant over these things. And we came up with side swipers, which is which is better, you know, better uh, sharing vowel sounds and catchier. And if we if we think down, then we would use the word side to do this. You know, bass drummers play from the side, and and then we're not going to call it side grazers because side swipers. It's just a better, it's just a catchier phrase. So, and when we do it from the side here, we have no reason to open our fingers. We have no reason to do it, as opposed to here, where we could do this, but then still do the, the fingers thing down from the side. If we turn it, then there's no, there's no compulsion for the fingers to open at all. There, there's no reason for it. There's no gravity. There's no nothing. So turn this sideways. Hold it straight out. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. All right, thinking brain on. And, oh, and we're going to go to the very end and essentially just right below the, the tip as it's, there's a little, nice little pocket there. And, and also, if we, were, if we did this, we came back a little bit, then there's the potential to do this, which we're doing these side swipers, that, that finger it actually stabilizes the whole thing. So I'm really tempted to do this bad habit thing, fingers down the stick, right? <laughs> Pinkies out, <laughs> shoulder, you know. So, so if we go all the way to the end, then if we put our finger out, then it's just a worm at the end of a pencil. It's got nowhere to go. So it's going to be compelled to stay on the stick. Because if we take that off, now this is a looser grip. So it's... <sighs> this is very well thought out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so straight out in front of you which, you know, for me, it doesn't have to be that, but since that stick is huge and you're small, then you need to give yourself some space. So come out and just hit your arm a few times and have it just like straight, like it's, you know, lateral, lateral movement. Okay, now, oh, and in this position, your thumb will be on top, right? Because it's just the side. And have it go like windshield wipers right in front of you and, and, and we know that you're doing it because one, we, can ha we have a sound and we have a, uh, we have a visual of it going past the arm. If it stops, that means you just hit your arm and you know, it didn't swipe it. And so this is a very adjudicatable thing. So like on day one with the drum line, it'd be like, all right, next week, who's gonna, ha who's gonna be able to show me the best side swipers? You know, some healthy competition to spur it on. And, and then, uh, where was I going with that sentence? I forgot. Okay, so do, do exactly this. Do precisely what I do. Be my, be my mockingbird. My arm is straight. My arm, the, the stick is up against my arm. Now, send this out this way, but by turning the wrist. There you go. Now come back and just do a few of those. Yes. And have it be like as if there's a glass plate here and it's just gonna, well, in fact, you, you could do that. Oh, oh, more, more, more ideas. Okay. Do this. Right, you need two sticks.
So this. And then uh, put the other one below here and then just angle out at like a 30 degree angle and then slide it along the stick there and have this be up, have the back of this be up against your, yeah, exactly. There we go. That helps guide it. I didn't even think about that until just now because like I can do it and I was my only test subject, so, but now that I see it being done for the first time, then it makes sense to have a little support stick there. Okay, so now, okay, do, show me a few of those. Boom, 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 boom. And teach this to your student. Teach this to Ezekiel. What, what's your buddy's name? Heshram? Oh. Rez? A rez. A rez. Here we go. Teach this to a rez. Oh, and, and I noticed in the videos that you want your pinkies around these things. Your, I don't want your pinky ever to not be around and hold at the, the tip. There you go. Pinkies wrapped. And hold that straight out, like as if you're going to hold something up there. Okay, now drop the other stick and just do the same motion, but now just graze the bottom of your arm. Drop this stick. Drop, drop the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm, that's a hit. Now do a graze. That's it, that's it. Look at that perfect wrist motion. It's money. And now think about it going that your thumb, that you are in French grip, that your thumb is facing the sky. So you're, you're just taking German grip and turning it to the side. Just like we were hitting the, as if we were hitting the octagon from the you know, along the side there. Now have it go, okay, so thumb is up. Now have it go, foom, 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 graze, graze, graze. And hear that little sound. And you know you're doing it right when you hear that sound and see it go beyond. Do it ultra crazy slow. Yes. Oh, I got a wrist turn. That's satisfying. Okay, you saw how to do it. 513 of these every day, which will be easy. It'll add up quick. Especially if you're doing, you know what an abacus is? No. An abacus is like the original calculator. It's a, a bunch of rods inside of a, like a wooden frame and there's, there's beads like on it and a hole straight through it and so you can uh, like have all the beads up here and then you can just like pull them down and you can use it as a counting system like oh we have one of the hundred beads and a 50 bead and a 10 bead so all the beads add up to 160 right? 100 plus 50 plus 10. So with the music math, uh, you know, uh, multiples of, of two, you can easily get yourself up to 513. Okay, so let's do that math. If you were gonna, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, five. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and da, 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 da. What do we, what's that number we gotta go to? What plus eight, because eight's a nice, easy number just to keep track of. Okay, what times eight equals 512? Wow. Work out that math. You mom and dad, you figure out a way to make sense of the counting that you can keep track of. Because if I just said a thousand, or you know, just 500, then you're gonna have to be like, okay, one, two, three, uh, 102, 100, 
you're going to have to like count it. But since I gave you a nice pretty number, 112 plus a downbeat. 112 plus one more because anytime in the music world, we're going to finish the phrase. We're going to, we're going to cap it off on what, the, what would be the beginning of a continuation. Okay. 513 of those. In fact, practice that. Bingo. Look at that. You missed your calling, by the way. You should consider quitting your day job. Okay. All right. Squeeze the squeeze on that thing like your life depends on it. And and we'll, we've modified it to where, where now we have a curled arm. So turn it like you know, like a turn it this way. So you're just staring at it. Ugh. All right. See what it does. Make, and make sure it's going. And that's another part. It's like we can see that it's going because sometimes it doesn't go, which is obnoxious. And then exhale at the very end. Yeah. About 40. 40 on the right? 40.4. Okay. We ain't doing no charities. 40. 11, or 11, I saw the letter L, left, 4, 1, 24, squeeze that thing more than 37 and you'll have beaten your record, I can't, my left thumb has it for 14 today I think, or something, well that's 33, that's the same as last time, so at least you're not degrading. Progress, baby. Progress. It's calling me unique while I do this. It's telling you? Wow. That is... That's, uh, that's kind of hilarious. All right. My ego's at stake here. How do I... Is it gonna tell me? Come on, too many buttons to push. I think pressing the start button resets. Okay, me. yeah, all right. Okay, it says weak. It says normal. Oh, okay, I, I lost that one, but yeah, it's moving up. All right, let's see. Yeah, that one says normal, 113, but my record is 132, uh, which that definitively says strong in the manual, which somewhere. Okay, good. Let's get to business. Okay, that's, let's put this back. Side swipers. Oh, fulcrum less. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we might get to that. And then we'll do we'll do that at the end. Okay, which is approaching. Fulcrum less. What do you think I mean when I say fulcrum less? Like this? Or like not on the fulcrum? What I mean is what I mean is no fulcrum, no fulcrum finger, finger, drummers have two, drummers have two fingers, the fulcrum finger and the control fingers, fulcrum, control, that's what I call them. All right, do this.
and, and really fan out your, your thumb and your fingers so I can clearly see. Okay, now come halfway up the stick, and now still fulcrumless, and you're going to hit the back of your arm too. You're going to hit the thing and the back of your arm simultaneously. Oh, that kind of hurts. All right. Uh, I can't. Okay, do do this. We'll 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 do somewhat of a fulcrum. So, just come to the other side. Of, yeah, and then just grab like that. So. You're just taking your index and going to the other side of it. Yeah. Okay, now hit the thing in your arm at the same time. And hit the middle of that thing, because that's going to be your best bounce and the best quality of sound. Yeah, look at that wrist turn. Okay, now do this in French grip and try to hit your arm. It just wants to curl over to German. Ain't gonna happen because it's going to now miss my arm. If there's nothing, it's it's just going up into outer space. So we have this arm on top of it. Double stops. Both hit the kitties right in the center. Okay, now do this with consciously no opening of the hand at all. Just keep a locked fist and just turn strictly at the wrist. Okay, now scoot that back up to normal playing position. But this time, now instead of relying on your the back of your stick hitting this, now just pretend as if this is actually just hit the, hit the back of your wrist. Middle. Oh, and then and then come over to uh, index middle thing, index middle fulcrum. Yeah, just do that. Not just this whole week. Just just get rid of your fulcrum, and and keep that closed, and just turn at the wrist. Things aren't going to be very uh, you know as bouncy and uh, not as fluid. But wrist, 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 wrist. You know, the, the wrist first, then fingers, not fingers, then wrist. So pr pr top priority is wrists. So fulcrumless, take that. Uh, no, I'll write, I'll write it. I want to keep this for me. Add it to the repertoire. But I will write down full crumb to to use. There's no O's in the word. Full crumb less grip all week. All right.
my, my bad. Drum set. <laughs> we have a co super cool beat. That, that, okay, that. Is this where we're coming? Yes, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So glad I spent all this time making all this stuff. Oh, there's this, there's this, the throne. Drummers call it the throne. Oh, and the foot pedal is Check this out. I modified I modified my pedals. So I made these little squishies because it's a little bit too harsh. And I'm getting ready for a gig. And that's just too harsh of a sound. So I, I muted it a little bit. I, I put some pattern on it. Uh, let's do this. This. Because I want to kill myself. All right. And this will do. Lift your foot. Okay, keep your foot off. Okay. Check out this beat. Play, play that beat. Uh, forget the accents for now and forget that little circle thing. Good. And, and now add the accents. So up here, big, small, big, small. And see how, see how the back of your stick is coming up right here on the inside of your arm? I would rather it go out to the outside of your arm. Preferably, I would just have it hit your arm. There it is. That's the stroke. Now do it wrong intentionally. Okay, well, that's, that's yes. Okay, yeah, that's more like what you normally do. Now do it right. Now do it wrong. Now do it right. Now never do it wrong ever again in your whole life. Okay, play that beat. Oh my God, immediately to it. Bad habits die hard. Okay, now, what do you think? What do you suppose that little, that little, open. Yeah, exactly the letter O, which means open hi hat. So, play just the hi hat part with your right hand, forget the other things. Two and three and four. Zzz. So that last four and on the and of four, you oh that's gonna be open. Okay. Almost. Okay, just do this. Closed, open, closed, closed, open, closed. Do that. Yes. So that's four and one. Four and one. Okay, so now do this. We'll now we'll 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 come into it. Now do three and four and so close, 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 open. Two, three, open, close. All right, now do the whole phrase. One and two and three and four and three and four and one. What did you do there? What did you do there? That was wrong. Um, how, why was it, how was it wrong? I opened the hi-hat too early. Yes, you opened it on beat four. 
open it only on the and of four. Do it. Good. You thought I I saw you thinking about doing it. I thought about it. <laughs> now I'll give you credit for that. I think at least thinking about it. Do it. I want you to think about it. Get your pinky. There it is. Get your pinky around that thing. Okay, now slow it down and say one and two and three and four and one. One and two and three and four and one. And three and four and one. Okay, now here's the trick. It's not accented, so it's just going to be a small one. Okay, switch me switch your spots. This is how this one goes. Just have a seat there. I'll give you the fruition. Fruition. Uh, you know what that word is. Fruition, it means coming to bear fruit, essentially. Fru, fruition. Uh, it means like getting to experience the pleasures of your efforts. Now, watch this. I'll slow this down. Notice, okay. You tell me, does the open hi-hat fall on a s big note or a small note? Small Oops. Yeah. And what I also want you to do to get a better sound is I want you to hit the shoulder of the stick, uh, bead, shoulder, shaft. Uh, I want you to not hit the tip up here. That's a super weak, lame sound. And every time I hear it on the radio, I kind of want to kill myself. Uh, every good drummer knows to not be hitting your, your hi-hat with the, with the bead, with the tip, because that's lame. Edge. Right here, shoulder, and, and and now you don't want to chop at it because then you'll lose your stick in a you know in a week because you're just putting divots in it, chopping it down like a tree. You're basically just gonna like almost slap the edge, and you can in and right right there the the shoulder hitting hitting the this the precipice there, which means the edge. And your hi hat doesn't have this, but I get to control the angle of that. Okay, try to just rig it to where your high, the bottom hi hat can tilt. Just like jam some duct tape in there, or whatever. Just get this thing to, to to be tilted a little bit, so that and when you open it a little bit, it, it sizzles like that, as opposed to opening it big. See how this is tilted? And now, when I come down, it's hitting one edge first. But now, to, and you, you could do it, you could have this open like that, so that you can do things like this. So I have this really like loud choo choo on the upbeat there. Uh, and I could, I could just finesse, I could just open my foot a little bit. Oop. I could control that, but a, a little cheat, which I recommend being able to do. But there's a cheat where you can just, and you can take your foot off and just measure it here, because you have a better feel for it if you do it with your hand. You just push that bar down, and then it goes up just a little bit. 
And in fact, I like mine just barely. You get it. Practice that beat. Go home and, and, and nail this. Oh, and I, on the, I wrote date here. Blank, blank, 2024. I want you to write down the date when you play this beat for someone and they are able to dance to it. This is the dance date. Get mom to dance to this beat. All right, we gotta go. Let's do your foot pedal thing. Take, oh. yes, okay. There's your cool bait. Fulcrum, less, just three fingers all week. And then side swipers, choom, choom, choom. 513 of them every day. And, and talk to mom or dad about what an abacus is. Well, just pull up, pull up a video, you should know what an abacus is. Oh, okay. Well, then he, he knows what it is without no, knowing what it's called, I guess. I see it on, like, shows and stuff. Yeah. So, and I wrote abacus counting on there, not because I'm going to have you, like, have an abacus and, like, do it as you're, as you're going along, but just, like, the concept of the way an abacus counts is the way you're going to count by multiples of eight. So do the math. How can you do it if, if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the easier digestion, the like groups of eight, you have to get up to what? Okay, say, say, say this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See what I'm doing? Count to eight over and over, but count as you go. And take these. Try that right now. Seven days. Or about seven days. All right, say this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three. Five, two, three. Do, do it slow. Don't don't try to do it as quickly as I'm doing it. I'm just I'm just ra I'm ramming through it. Yes. Good. Oh, that's satisfying. So, you, so then with your abacus, this is, this is what I mean by abacus counting, um, then, oh, my wrench is not in its home. Um, so then whatever that number is, 8 times what equals 512? 70 something. So on the way home, practice practice going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seventy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, here we go. And you guys can do it together. Fun for the whole family. You can turn it into like a 99, beer, 99 balls of beer on the wall kind of oh. kind of thing. Absolutely. You, can use, you can use it to torture people. That's, I give you permission to do that. Oh, if it's homework, then we have to do it. That's right. By the way, it's ultra, ultra super satisfying to me to, to be involved with parents who mm. care. Thank you for 
doing it the way it should be done. Uh, yeah. Because it's very disheartening when it's not done the way it should be done, like optimally. There's like doing it right and then not doing it right. Not necessarily doing it wrong, but there's just a right way to do it, and then there's just like not not right ways to do it. Okay, how does this? We gotta turn. We need to get this. Oh, I see. Ooh, it's like a little riddle. Okay, so now I'm gonna remember where that is. Oh, and I want to, let's think about what I'm doing. I wanna go further back with it. So watch this. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in place. Pull everything. I see. Yes, good call. I, and I'm going to, so I'm going to keep this consistent. I'm going to keep this consistent. And then I'm going to pull it out. And now, and I'm just going to watch myself turn this one sixth because there's six sides to this. And the fancy word, which starts with an H. Which is a shape. Yeah, baby. Six. What's a, what's a seven polygon? Sexagon. Keep going. Yeah, neither do I. Nine to gun. <laughs> what that's an N. Nine decagon. Yeah, what is the nine? I don't know. Oh, ball bearing. Oh. Do oh, there's the other ball bearing. Okay. So while we're at it, while we're, while we got this in our face, let's punch out the other. Okay, I'm going to assign this to you. You can do your own surgery, which, you know, is yesterday. Yesterday, all I did, I, I did surgery for like eight hours straight. It was glorious. Okay, so now let's assemble this back into place. Okay, this, this ball bearing, hear how it's, it spins, it spins. Kinda. It could spend a lot more if this was cleaned. So what you can do, you can just soak this in mineral spirits, kerosene, same thing, and uh, just clean the bejesus out of it. You, you can, you can, you know, maybe even nail it with some acetone, although that might be a bit harsh. Um, and then put some, put some, put some oil in there, and then this will, this will, this will move like a dream. And so. And I don't have to undo what I just did, adjusting the pedal. That's that's one and done. Just just keep. Did I? No, that would be too far. All right. What is? What is my deal? Okay, this goes up to here. And there must be another one that I... Yeah. Oy vey. Am I tripping? Ah, oh wait, no, that's not it. Was there one of these? Was, it, was there one? Oh, there's not, oh, there's... <laughs> oh, that's right, this is a super cheap pedal. There's only one. That's right. <laughs> What's, what's cool about playing on super cheap, funky, janky equipment is then when you do get real equipment, then you'll have like this massive appreciation like, whoa, okay. Like the first time I spent money on a, like a modern power tool instead of just all the hand-me-downs out there from the 70s, it's like, oh, oh okay. 
this is things have gotten better. Oh, all right. So then, and I have, and I had an appreciation for it. So, janky, janky drums. I, I recommend it. This is like when you give you a starter car. You're just running to the ground and learn how to kick your ass. Teach them how to not run into the ground. Okay, this. Okay, so check, check this out. So this, this thingamajig right here, and and oil all this stuff. Like you can just you can just take out all the parts. You can just like all all these wing nuts, all the little things. Just just soak them in some mineral spirits for a while, and then blow them out really well, especially the ball bearings, and then add some oil to it. And then you can, and then since then since mineral spirits dilutes oil, you can then blow out that oil, and that will like carry out the the remaining residue of the of the mineral spirits, and then re-oil it. Okay. And plus, less oil is better anyway. So. Okay. Remove the dirt. Oh, uh, WD forty is that? Not dirt. No, I I. Uh, no, that no, that's right. yeah. I, I I had a conversation with my dad about viability of that. He's like, no, it's not, that's not what you want. Okay, look at this. This Wait, thing. If you're messing off with me, you're not. This is a little lock washer thing, which is cool. It's not exactly a traditional lock washer. Okay, and then, yeah, and all of these things, if that's got a little oil on it, that'll spin like a dream. Okay, so now, this cute little single chain pedal. <laughs> if I want that to be tighter, which I do, then I get to, I'm just gonna max this out just mm -hmm. so you have as much spring as possible. I'm gonna push against that. I see. And then that gets locked into place. And really like lock this down because mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't want, well, finger tight is totally fine, especially with those, those crush washers, but uh, but you don't want to lose your stuff, right? Like we talked about last week, doing screw checks on all your things, making sure every little thing is actually tight because drums jiggle and vibrate, and when they drum and vibrate over time, they're going to come loose, and you're going to lose lugs, you're going to lose tension rods like you already have. Not Maybe not you, but maybe a previous drummer. But it might as well be you because you didn't know to even think about that. So, so now, you, now you're thinking about it. Why is that crunchy? Oh, you know what? Oil that. Okay. Wow. And, and we can hear a sound, and if we touch this, then we can like zero in on like where it is because maybe it's coming from over here. So if I touch over here, but now I realize that the shock wave is less. So like it, it, wherever it, where you even feel it the most is where the problem is. So you can you can listen to it with your with your with your own body, not with just your eardrums. All right, that's whoa. You're gonna you're gonna love this. That's. This is this is a migraine right there for the neighbor. Yes. Oh, oh, and then I need to ch turn. Oh, and this right here. Boom. One. And then I'm, for due diligence. Oh, that one was loose too. I'm gonna do all of these. Just a little snug. And you do not. Oh, that's hilarious. You do not want to over tighten these things. Do not like crank down on these things because they will. Strip. Stripping. You know what stripping means? Like, like. Like the threads. Okay. We we have we have the the the, the threaded cavity, and then we have the, the bolt that goes in there, and it yeah, threads in like this. Thread. And but if, when it th when it sh when it, what's the word I want? When it Strip. strips, it goes like this. Yeah. And it and it like ruins the inside of this thing. It ruins the your 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 bolts. Do not over tighten, and that that goes for the rest of your life with anything under your hood of your car, 
you know, don't over tighten things. You hear that, internet? And then mm -hmm. you do the elegance. Yeah, take this apart, do some surgery, oil it up, clean it out, do, watch the YouTube videos, how to clean parts, you know, yeah, that's, that's how I came upon cleaning stuff with mineral, mineral spirits and acetone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There you go. Oh. Thank you. Ain't no spring chicken. <laughs>